Hi everyone. Today I have the textbook exercises from the lesson Tom Sawyer Whitewashing the Fence. It is an extract from The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. So let's go through the textbook exercises together. I will call out the questions, give you some time to think of the answer, and then I will tell you the answer as well. And at the end of the lesson, I also have five very simple questions for you to answer, which are not from the textbook. So are you ready to do this with me? Let's begin. Fill in the blanks with the correct words from the story. Tom Sawyer lived with his. I'll give you a hint. It's not just one person. The answer, with his aunt and half brother, Sid. What was his aunt's name? Aunt Polly, okay? The second one, she punished Tom for dash school. What had he done? She punished Tom for skipping school. You can also say missing school. The third one, it was a bright dash morning. Summer, winter, autumn, spring. The answer, summer. The fourth one, Tom showed his dash toe to Jim. What was wrong with his toe? Was it a beautiful toe, a white toe, a creepy toe, a black toe, injured toe? What was the right word? Saw. So, the fifth one, Tom examined his dash wealth. What kind of wealth was it? The answer, worldly. That means it was wealth that you could obtain from the world. So worldly. Sixth, Dash was eating an apple. Now, do you remember the name of the boy who was eating an apple? His full name. The answer, Ben Rogers. And please note that Ben has a capital B and R has a capital R. That's how you write the name of a person, right? Let's move on. Answer these questions if you can. The first one, what was Tom carrying when he appeared on the sidewalk? He had two things with him. Do you know? What was he about to do there? That will tell you what he had with him. When Tom appeared on the sidewalk, he was carrying a long handled brush and a bucket of whitewash because he was going to whitewash the fence. Why? Because that was his punishment. Aunt Polly had asked him to do that as a punishment. And why was he punished? Because he had skipped school. Why had he skipped school? He had gone swimming with his friends. The second one. Why did Tom want to bring the pail of water for Jim? He said, I'll bring water for you and you can do something for me. It's not hard to know what he wanted Jim to do for him, right? So here's your answer. Tom remembered that all his friends were at the pump having fun. Besides, he wanted Jim to whitewash the fence for him. Good idea, isn't it? Tom was naughty, but he was also very smart. The third one, what excuse did Tom give for not letting Ben paint the fence? Ben came along, eating his apple, if you remember, and he begged Tom to let him whitewash the fence. But Tom said no. Why did he say no? What excuse did he give? Here's the answer. Tom told Ben that his aunt was very particular about getting the whitewash done well as the fence was in front of the house. Okay, so let's go to the fourth question. What did Tom get from Ben Rogers for allowing him to paint the fence? Finally, he did allow Ben Rogers to paint the fence. And what did he get in return? The answer? Tom got a half-eaten apple from Ben in exchange for allowing him to paint the fence. Now, don't you agree with me that Tom was really smart? Besides being naughty, of course. 
he was smart see he got someone to do his work for him his punishment rather and he also got things from people who did his punishment for him so he did not do his punishment he got others to do it and he got paid for it as well uh, how many of you can you know hope to get something like that done he was truly smart isn't it the fifth question what did johnny miller give to him do you remember johnny miller gave to him a dead rat and a string to swing it with a dead rat and then what will you do with a dead rat you have to have a string then you can tie its tail with that string and then you can swing it like how you boys swing chains and keys right they needed a dead rat and a string then we have think and answer the first question from this lesson how would you describe tom sawyer so if you have gone through the lesson you will know how would you describe tom sawyer and give reasons for your answer as well if you're not sure please go through the previous videos that i have done i have read and explained the entire story in detail in one video and in another lesson in another video i have gone through the entire lesson again with a lot of oral questions and answers and this is my third video on the same lesson so those two will definitely help you to go through this lesson well if you have not gone through them before and if you are not very sure of the answers and the details if you are then i'm sure you got this answer right so let's check tom was bright and cheerful and had a lot of friends we know this because many boys stopped to watch him whitewash the fence he was smart and intelligent because he formulated a plan to trick all the boys into doing his job his punishment he was simple because he was interested in simple things like door knobs he was naughty as he skipped school so here i have all the descriptive words for him and i have reasons for each one i mean you might have thought of some other words and some other reasons that's perfectly all right the second question what was the inspiration that struck tom explain tom suddenly got inspired what was that explain okay let's check it with my answer now tom suddenly realized that he should pretend to enjoy what he was doing in order to make his friends curious about it that might help to get them to whitewash the fence for him and that was his main goal right let's go to the third one now what was the great law of human action that tom discovered do you think it is true give reasons for your answer so if you say that it is true give reasons if you say that it is not true according to you that's absolutely fine give reasons but first let's see what's the great law of human action that tom discovered here's the answer tom discovered that in order to make someone desire something we need to make the thing difficult to attain yes i think it is true that's my opinion the reason i know it is true is because i have seen it happen in real life you might have a different opinion that's absolutely fine okay these are my simple questions for you this is not from the textbook so let's see if you can answer this name the character name these people in the story the first one he gave tom a kite in exchange for letting him whitewash the fence do you remember who that was the answer is billy fisher the second one she chased jim with a slipper in her hand and the answer 
Aunt Polly, none other than Aunt Polly. The third one, he sat on a barrel in the shade of a tree and ate an apple. Who did that? Definitely was Tom Sawyer. The fourth one, he stared at Tom Soto. Who was so interested in that stupid Soto? Jim, remember? And the fifth one, his gait was the hop, skip and jump. That means instead of walking, his style of walking was a hop, skip and jump. Who was he? He was Ben Rogers. Now, if you got all these answers right and you were sure about the other answers that we just went through, then I'm sure you know the lesson very well. Good for you. But if you have had a problem with them and you need more help, like I said earlier, please go through the previous two videos that I have made. And you can also read the text. That is the best way to learn English literature. Read the story over and over again, not once or twice, but several times. Read it until you cannot discover anything new about the story. Read it until you know every single detail there is to know. Okay, so I'll end now. I hope this lesson was useful to you. We'll meet again very soon. Until then, cheerio.